Yep, I'm going to give a quick uh, developer experience update because um, we've had quite a few things going on in the past few uh, weeks. So some of these cross beyond uh, the last three weeks um, and into a little bit since Christmas, uh, but they've really mostly come to fruition in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, so we've, from a developer experience point of view, we've recently landed a dependency injection into Moodle, which will uh, change the way that some of, uh, the, the, some of the way that we do things going forward. Uh, that's a really exciting thing for a lot of developers, especially when we start to use it, and it should really uh, help people to uh, to write better code. Uh, we've also made various changes to the Moodle coding style rules, which is the automated uh, coding style check system. Uh, we've There's a few bug fixes in there. We've added support for enums and attributes, and Eloy and I have just been doing some other uh, work, which uh, I think some of that started to land last night, so they may not be mentioned on here. We've also started to prepare for PHP unit 10, that's a major change, which is a breaking change in PHP unit. So watch this space. Um, the work's been going on for some time. We're trying to speed things up and plan uh, the, the timeline for that. So that will probably be Moodle 5.0 that we actually land at because of those breaking changes, but that's not confirmed. Uh, which brings me on to renumbering of Moodle versions. Um, I believe there is an announcement going out shortly, but the, uh, the version number following Moodle 4.5 LTS is expected to be Moodle 5.0 rather than Moodle 4.6 because 4.6 is just a computing number for um, the, the release after an LTS release. So the, the idea is, and there's more information in that idea issue, idea 168, that after every LTS release, we bump the, the first version. So 5.0 to 5.3 LTS, and then the next version after 5.3 will be 6.0. Um, and we'll be looking at how we um, also apply breaking changes. So uh, we only apply really big breaking changes in the 0 0.0 release rather than in say 4.6 or 4.7 or randomly. So that's that's the idea. Um, and 5.0 will be in April 2025, yes, Mary. There's also been a policy decision made regarding the naming of hooks that was made on Friday, I think it was. See the details in 79077 and there's also documentation um, in the developer documentation uh, system. Uh, we've added some deprecation helpers to try and standardize, standardize the way that we deprecate things and standardize the deprecation messages. And there's also a, a recent issue which has not yet landed, but hopefully should soon, which allows us to make uh, to mock time, which will mean that we hopefully uh, can track down a whole load of new bugs to do with time and time resolution and the way things, the way that we handle cases like where time doesn't move because, say, five, four and process happen at the same second. So uh, that's all really useful stuff. Um, version 99 will be uh, quite some time away, uh, one new major version every two years. So you can do the maths there. I'm um, um, 94 times four, or something like that. So starting off at the top there, we've got uh, the attribute helper that came in uh, from MDL 81011. And that's uh, a way of making it easier to access attributes um, in PHP. Uh, we've also created some more common attributes uh, for reuse. Uh, those primarily focus around the use of hooks, but they are actually reusable attributes which can be used for other features. Um, as it says there, we've also uh, added the option to use attributes instead of interfaces when implementing hooks, which makes them a lot simpler uh, to, to write a hook uh, from middle 4.4 onwards. In fact, it's almost uh, no boilerplate because it's just a one-liner um, for, uh, for the attributes instead of lots of lines of code. To implement the interfaces so it just really simplifies things and uh, uh twice this week we also did some tooling releases for the code sniffer and the code checker uh, the ci plugins and uh, a number of, of other features uh, and other tooling those primarily uh, fixed a number of uh, bugs and added a few new features including support for attributes which is not a work in progress and we are working towards the complete deprecation of the uh, legacy loot local moodle checks plugin uh, it will be replaced with the Moodle code sniffer. And that's me.